Hello and welcome to New Vision TV. I am Ruth Nasaje. With the exception of December 1985 and December 1987, when military tension engulfed Uganda, Christmas has always been a joyous month in the country. So why are Ugandans this December grumbling so heavily? Is it a mindset or are things really bad? New Vision TV takes a closer look. Ugandans have this week generally been complaining of a Christmas season marred with poverty and high prices. Sugar is costing 5,500 a kilo in parts of the country, up from 3,200 in November. Sugar manufacturers in their meeting with Trade Minister Amelia Chambade have blamed climate change, which has reduced supply of the cane. The shilling has deteriorated sharply in recent months, driving prices up in this import-dominated economy. This year, the annual influx of Basama, Uganda's diaspora workers, has failed to ease the exchange rate, as it usually does. The dollar is now eating towards 3,600 shillings. The last time Christmas was generally miserable was in 1987 when Uganda and Kenya massed battalions at a common border ready for war as political tensions mounted between Kampala and Nairobi. Kenya police was harassing Ugandans and one Ugandan teacher died in a Kenyan jail. Uganda's firebrand interior minister, Kizavis J. flew to Nairobi and during with the border closed, thus practically no domestic consumer bills in Uganda. But the moral and support for the NRM government was so high at home that people braved the dry Christmas. Earlier in December 1985, the country was approaching the climax of a bitter five-year civil war. A peace agreement had been signed in Nairobi, Kenya on the 17th of the month and the chairmanship of President Daniel Arab Moy between the military council government of General Tito Okello and the National Resistance Army of Commander Yorim Museveni. The two sides were supposed to integrate and form a new national army. Instead, the government army continued killing people in Kampala and the NRA continued to press towards the capture of Kampala. Kampala was balkanized under several fighting groups, each controlling a sector. Under the heavily looming war, there was no Christmas that year, 30 years ago. This December, climate change has seen people nearly starving in some parts of the western and eastern Uganda. Government says 7 million Ugandans are at risk of starvation. This December, some Ugandans in Teso districts, Katakui, ironically the home of the Ministers for Disaster Preparedness, Musa Echeru, and Internal Affairs, JJ Odong, have resorted to eating wild leaves due to bitter hunger. And in our Pearl of Africa moment, we take a look at Mpanga Forest. Mpanga Forest is a small patch of natural equatorial forest covering about 453 hectares. It is found in Mpiji district, Maokota, 37 kilometers southwest of Kampala and is conveniently located along the Masaka Highway. The forest can be reached within an hour of driving from Kampala. It is best known for its 181 species of butterfly and the red tailed monkeys. Let's take a look. Just like Mabira Forest, located on the Jinja Highway, Mpanga Forest is situated right on the Masaka Highway. This forest is covered with green and blessed with various types of trees. Within the forest, the various butterflies of different colors and the red-tailed monkeys. These red-tailed monkeys can be seen during the day and bush babies during guided night walks. It supports an impressive biodiversity for such a small forest. This forest also has a number of small mammals including squirrels and pangolins. But worth noting and never forgetting is that Mpanga Forest is also a wonderful getaway for the nature lovers. And that's all we had for you. Thank you for watching. Be sure to catch us on your mobile phone, on your desktop, on your tablet, and anywhere on the go. I am Ruth Naseje, and we wish you a Merry Christmas.